Hi everyone, MG Chemicals Tech Talk. In this short video, I will demonstrate the differences in water protection comparing a conformal coated part with a fully potted part. I'll use MG's 419E premium acrylic conformal coating to coat this simple LED strip. I have also included an uncoated strip in our demonstration as a control, which you can see here with the conformal coated part fluorescing under black light. Notice both sides have been coated, ensuring full coverage throughout the strip. For potting, I'll use MG's 832WC Optically Clear Epoxy. First, measure the resin component, part A, into a cup, then add the corresponding amount of hardener, part B, into the cup using the correct mix ratio. For the 832WC, the mix ratio is two parts resin to one part hardener by volume. Thoroughly mix the two components together to ensure the mixture is completely homogeneous and full cure is achieved. This process introduces air into the mixture. For best results, we recommend using a vacuum after stirring to remove air and achieve a bubble-free finish. Once fully cured, the strip is fully encased into the epoxy resin. For the test, we've made up a solution of 1% sodium chloride and poured into three separate containers. Now, we power up the LEDs and put them in to soak with each strip completely immersed in the water. Over time, we see the conformally coated strip start to fail and short as the heat generated from the LEDs begins to thermally degrade the coating. The encapsulated strip holds up and prevents any short circuits from occurring. For applications where parts may be completely immersed in water, we recommend encapsulation as the best way to protect your circuits against failure. For more information, visit our website, follow us on LinkedIn, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.